Oregon's Special Olympics torch refires. Let the fall games of 2014 begin. At opening ceremonies in Providence Park, the Beaverton Stars celebrate the revival. Economic hardship snuffed out the flame of hope six years ago. Hope restored. Competition resumes with a passion that even the chilly temperature cannot cool. I just think it's great that all the Providence employees are volunteering their time uh, being down here when it's so cold. <laughs> it's freezing. Providence volunteer scorekeepers Jessica Dryson and Megan Campbell notice the athletes' joy. Just they're in their faces. It's, it's amazing to see how happy they are when they win and when they don't win. One, two, three. Defense! These fall games, which include volleyball, soccer, and swimming, are returning because of support from Providence Health and Services and the Portland Timbers. Their expanded partnership is helping create healthier communities. Scott Furness, who volunteered to assist with volleyball, has noticed the mission of Special Olympics is in harmony with the mission of Providence. It really ties into our core values. I'm glad to participate and, and proud that I work for a company that's, that's going to be sponsoring this and, and putting on a good show. Competing with other intellectually disabled athletes from throughout the state is a thrill for these competitors. And to play on the same stadium pitch where the professionals perform is, in their words, awesome. Portland Mayor Charlie Hales observed that everyone here is given the chance to become a Ph.D., that is to pursue their highest dream. One, two, three. Soccer! Awards go to everyone, but as several surprised volunteers reported, the score doesn't always seem to matter to these special athletes, whose Olympic oath is, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. The goalies were stepped aside, let somebody score, and he was all happy. He didn't care that they scored on him, and he was just enjoying his time. So were the more than 600 competitors and their 200 coaches, some who braved icy roads to come here. Volunteer Emmy Glassy, a Providence caregiver from Salem, brought her family to Portland for an Olympic weekend. She was not disappointed. Piqued my interest, though. I, I got really excited about that and um, found out it is going to be an annual thing, and I plan on coming back with more volunteers next year. And thanks to the game's new sponsors, there will be a next year. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.